You gave me permission <laughs> to write what I want, so. I can move you without laying my hands on you, but I lay my groove on you. You're gonna move. This is Jonathan Sugarford Moffitt. I'm here at Drumeo, my second visit, trying to share my talents and my gifts with you in the world, try to inspire you. As I've been inspired by the many that came before me, my motto is you never know enough and you never know too much. Because one of the most important things you want to learn in drumming is not what you're taught, it's not what you're reading or what you're learning, it's how to create on the fly. You got to develop your mental and physical to flow as water. When you turn the water on, on a faucet, you don't see the drops, you see the stream. So you got to open your mental and physical to flow like a stream of creativity that can flow in any song. I, I used to practice playing to, to ballads, doing a drum solo to ballads, just in case somebody tried to pop quiz on me. And right now they're gonna give me a song I never heard before. And uh, the deal is I'm supposed to listen to it and, and learn it and show you my process of learning a song that I haven't heard, unfamiliar to me. And um, either it looks good or it looks bad. <laughs> but we're gonna have fun doing it and trying it. So here we go, we're gonna try this out. Nice work, man. Do you know the song? No, not at all. Never heard it in my life. Okay, so the song is called Numb, and the band is Linkin Park. I've heard Linkin Park, but I don't know all these songs. So, what are, what are your thoughts on the song? Like, what are you hearing with the the different parts, and how are you approaching that on the drums? 
in a musical sense. I hear the song, and since there was no drums there, I had to improvise. So I had to come up with, I had to be, become a writer in the song, so to speak. Mind you, not knowing the song, I was searching and probing my feelings, my senses, and how to equate. Once I got into the groove of the song, all the feels was just spontaneity. Everything is about open spirit. Because one of the most important things you want to learn in drumming is not what you're taught, it's not what you're reading or what you're learning, it's how to create on the fly. Well, even if you go to the wrong, a wrong beat or something like that, make it seem like it was meant to be. <laughs> Pretend that it was meant to do that. I say, too late now, you're in it, so you got to make it into something. Uh, but I can never re re reproduce that. That was as it was at every single moment of the song. I was just flowing creatively, instantaneously. So I can never remember <laughs> exactly. Overall, you got a song that's creative in a different way from the original. Well, we want to play you the original drum track so you can hear what's on the original. Yeah. So here it is with drums. Okay. If any of you want to learn this song yourself and play along with it, you can go over to Drumio and learn it yourself. It's a fun song to play. It's a hit because it was. And I love playing it. It was a lot of fun. A great, great song. You know, I'll be listening to it from now on. Amazing song. I love it. Love it. He had a more consistent beat. You know, it was more consistent throughout. I was hearing more expressions and, and alternate things around it, but not knowing the structure of the song, guessing what's coming next. So I had to be, I had to improvise and creative and do my own New Orleans kind of thing with it. And um, I did more long, long fields. He did a couple of real commercial because it's a record. That's a record, which is appropriate. I was playing it more like if we were doing it live with the band live, but I tried to do that in a creative musical way. So I was much more busy than the record. I like the way he kept it straight all the way through because that made it more of a song for commerciality and, and promotion. And it's an excellent song. Brilliant, brilliant. That's a, what a wonderful song. That's a great song. Really great song. I love it. I absolutely love it. That's a hit. I'm sure it was. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I think there's there's over like a billion plays on YouTube on it's on amazing. that song. But just so you know, too, the the drummer's name is uh, Rob Borden. Oh, He's the drummer Borden. with uh, Lincoln Park. Yeah. Okay. Rob Borden. Yeah. I've heard of his name before. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so he's pretty real prominent. And uh, one other thing I wanted to ask too. So let's say when you were rehearsing for. Mm -hmm the history tour or the This Is It rehearsals, would you typically, would you write charts for all of Michael's music? <laughs> or obviously he was giving you cues and stuff, but what, what did your process look like for learning a lot of that material? Well, I'm laughing because <laughs> a lot of people don't know, but and I thought maybe you knew, but a lot of people have no, no clue. I had not a single teacher on a drum set in my entire life. So when you say, do I write my charts out for Michael, for Madonna, Elton, or whatever, I can't write. I can't read, much less write. Everything is spiritual, what I do. And uh, from the source, I call God, is in, in from spirituality and the gift that I was in, in seated with. And uh, I took that gift, I watered it by practicing, practicing, and being dedicated. Once I found I have a, a serious passion for drumming, I listen to the tapes, the songs before I go into rehearsals. For two, three weeks or something like that, when they tell me what song list is going to be, I intently is my work. So I listen, 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 and I learn it by memory. Everything is by memory. And uh, each song, every song, the whole show, I'm in that moment is what I'm trying to say. I'm in that exact moment, every beat, every measure of every song. And thinking about only that time when you're on stage, you got two and a half hours to just devote to that, which is there to do. That's not a lot of time, really, of your life. So if you think about all this stuff or what I'm doing at home, or my girlfriend, or what's going on, I wonder what you're doing, <laughs> then you're gonna miss stuff on stage. You gotta forget all of that, wipe it out, and learn how to you only see what's in front of you, not all this other stuff, distractions. If you're distracted, you won't be as precision, as effective as you can be, and as professional as you can be. So it's very important that you give your best and your all. The drum kit is your translator of your soul and your spirit and what you do and what you feel. And you translate that to the audience and they experience and they feel it and they move and they react, especially a drummer. A drummer can touch somebody at the farthest reaches of the stadium and make them move their neck, their foot, and that's a power. That's like the power of God. I can move you without laying my hands on you, but I lay my groove on you, you're gonna move. I love drumming 
and I'm happy to be here at Drumio once again. Thank you all for helping me have a great experience. Thank you all at Drumio.